Hello. Lady in the Lake Episode 5 ending explained why Kasha does that and what happens to Maddie. Warning. There are spoilers for Episode 5 of Lady in the Lake. Mentions of the show's suicide narrative element, as well as other violent incidents. Here's a summary of the content. 1. Maddie's pursuit of a story leads to a tense encounter with Kasha, culminating in a dramatic cliffhanger in Lady in the Lake Episode 5. 2. The episode delves into Kasha's past, trauma, and the connection to Tessie's death, which leads her to stab Maddie. 3. In the novel, Maddie survives the trauma and ends up in the hospital. After Maddie encounters Stephen Zawatsky's mother, Kasha, Lady in the Lake Episode 5 concludes on a genuinely surprising cliffhanger. With only two episodes left, Almaharel's Lady in the Lake contains various unresolved issues, including how Cleo Johnson died at the end of Episode 4. Although the fifth season of Apple TV Plus's crime thriller does not dig into the circumstances of Cleo's alleged murder, it does see Maddie exploring the titular lady's life in the lake, hoping to piece together the story of Cleo's death. At the end of Lady in the Lake Episode 4, Stephen escapes from prison and breaks into Maddie's flat. The terrifying meeting chills Maddie, but it also motivates her to learn more about Cleo Johnson. With Stephen's verdict imminent, the aspiring journalist is eager to discover something. Maddie wants a tale to tell, no matter what the cost, and she believes she has a right to be a part of the stories that unfold around her. While Lady in the Lake differs significantly from the previous books, Maddie's ambitious default mentality continues, leading to her terrible encounter with Kasha. Why does Kasha stab Maddie at the end of Lady in the Lake Episode 5? Maddie strikes a nerve when confronting Stephen's mother. By the fifth episode, it's no wonder that Maddie is looking for connections everywhere. Maddie believes she can solve the mystery of Cleo Johnson's death after her own hidden past, and the revelation of Seth's true father twist led her to the location of Tessie Durst's body. Following Stephen's scary break-in, Maddie pays a visit to his mother, Kasia Zawatsky, who provided the police with Reggie's description. When Maddie comes, Kasia is devastated. The tropical fish store is still shuttered, and her son's verdict is looming. Kasia snaps and stabs Maddie in the stomach with a butter knife. Kasia, like the majority of Lady in the Lake's characters, has experienced long-term trauma. Maddie discovers that Kasia fled Poland following World War II. Ashamed of the impression that her home nation was predominantly anti-Semitic, unfortunately, Kasia's new beginning in America turned sour. Kasia loves her son, although she is aware that Stephen suffers from mental illness. Mrs. Maddie believes she can... Zawadzki feels angry when Maddie appeals to Kasia as a fellow mother, which Maddie exacerbates by implying her allegedly close relationship with Stephen. Kasia snaps and stabs Maddie in the stomach with a butter knife. In Laura Lippmann's work, Maddie survives her encounter with Kasia's literary equivalent. After solving the riddle of Cleo's murder and discovering the name of Cleo's hidden lover, Maddie chooses to pursue Tessie's case. Although Ferdy advises Maddie to leave well enough alone, the aspiring journalist confronts Stephen's mother. In the novel, he is called Stephen Corwin. Stephen's mother admits that she helped her son kill Lady in the Lake's Tessie Durst and, in order to avoid detection, stabbed Maddie with the intention of killing her. Maddie does, however, survive and wakes up in a hospital room shortly after. In Lady in the Lake, Kasha conceals what she did for Stephen. Kasha tries to prevent Maddie from revealing the truth about Tessie Durst's death. After Kasha stabs Maddie, the two women engage in a lengthy physical argument, beating each other with objects and struggling on the ground. Maddie manages to get into Cassie's bedroom and lock the door. Kasha, completely distraught, bangs on the door, confessing that she does not want to rot in jail for assisting her son in the murder and disposal of Tessie Durst's body. You would have done the same for your son, Cassia laments. When Kasha remains silent, Maddie realizes she will bleed out if she does not call for aid. Thank you for watching.